Cork from Section 1B in the semis. A win for Kilkenny, on the other hand, would help steer them clear of relegation trouble. Marty Morrissey was in Walsh Park for this one. Jesus, this is like Bridget Beaches Brook here in Welsh Park. All the water is in it. Huh? You want to fall, would you? Come and down again. Come on again. The water defence set the tap for yeah, DJ. Yeah. We hope he'll fall into that. Fall into it, you? Uh, Things were a little different in Waterford today. A huge downpour half an hour before a throw-in caused major problems for the ground staff. Meanwhile, Kilkenny manager Kevin Fennelly and his team emerged from the dressing room knowing defeat could mean relegation. In contrast, the home team had to win to guarantee a semi-final spot. It's a game that we know we're up against the Kilkenny. They've had a bad league campaign, but we know that they're putting every effort into the day, just as we are. So it should be a cracking game, I would imagine. But would the game be played at all? Referee Sean McMahon decided to delay the start by 15 minutes to give the pitch a chance to dry out. Basic thing, Marty, is players' protection nets it into the day. I mean, it's very hard for officials with, say, umpires and, and that there with the, the way it is at the moment. So hopefully we won't get any more monsoon if we are running. Desperate trouble. <laughs> A brief consultation with the two managers followed. I have no problem. But I mean, if it does come down again, monsoon, okay. Yeah, that's, well, yeah, that's it. I, I and I mean, once we're all under the one understanding okay, before boss, we go out. Boss, the boss, exactly, we yeah. that yeah, protection, down, we'll right. because protection but, um, of players is my... Absolutely, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I suppose there have been worse days that we've played in the league so far, you know, but it's just know, that you'd yeah. expect the weather to get a bit better now. So, yeah. 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 Anyway, Well, if you, if you decide to hold it off and win, you know... That's what I mean. Once we're all under, you're not... You're not going to hold the board one way or another. That's all right. Thus it began with some splashing, bucket loads of grit, lots of character, some more splashing and of course hurling. And hurling was the winner today in Walsh Park Waterford and particularly the Waterford hurlers, with some of their young stars emerging from this game as men, none more so than five point scorer Ken McGrath. DJ Carey might have scored the first point, but after that Waterford settled into their stride, with all the forwards getting into the act and only a brilliant save by Joe Dermody, denying Waterford an early goal. Kilkenny showed some nice touches, particularly up front, where Charlie Carter, PJ Delaney and, of course, DJ Carey were always prominent. Newcomer Ken O'Shea also showed that he wanted to play in this Kilkenny side with this good point. Amazingly, Kilkenny led by three points, seven points to four at this stage, but then came one of the turning points, Waterford's first goal. And if these pictures indicate the determination of this Waterford side, then you've got it right. Because Billy O'Sullivan was the creator. He ran, he was hassled, he was challenged, but he still managed to get the ball for his Dan Shanahan, who from a very acute angle, put the ball into the net. Thus the teams were levelled for the third time in the first half. But after that goal, you could see that Waterford were growing in confidence. This was the lead point, Ken McGrath doing all the nice little flip work and then scoring a memorable point. At half time, Waterford led by one goal and eight points to nine points. Happy faces at Walsh Park, but they were quite delirious three minutes into the second half when Paul Flynn somehow managed to flick this past Joe Dermody. Now Waterford were definitely in the driving seat, two eight to nine points. The basis of this win was surely the Waterford half-back line of Stephen Frampton, Fergal Hartley, who was easily man of the match, and Brian Green. They supplied plenty of possession for players like Dave Bennett and, of course, Anthony Kerwin and Billy O'Sullivan, who unquestionably scored the score of the match midway through the second half. Amazingly, Waterford led at one stage by 2.16 to 12 points as the DCs scored points from all angles. You could see that there was a fight on for places in this Waterford team. Players like Anthony Kerwin also played well, not alone taking his chances, but producing opportunities for his colleagues like Paul Flynn. This was his second point of the match. Amazingly, with just minutes to go, Kilkenny were trailing by 12 points to 2.16 when Ken O'Shea got this rather lucky goal. Goalkeeper Brendan Landers from this moor would be rather disappointed. However, he had no chance just minutes later when DJ Carey got this loose slither, hit it off the crossbar, and PJ Delaney was there to finish at home. Despite these two late goals, Waterford won this game handsomely and thus qualified for this season's National Hurling League semi-final.